Hello everyone, this is my brand new series and I have my amazing guest, Flame, which isn't it crazy? <laughs> my name is Flyer, she's called Flame. We're like a year difference, is that it? Yeah, well, 20 I am. 20, I don't tell you too, oh God, <laughs> I'm so old, it's, it's, it's horrible. But, and our parents didn't know each other really, did they? No. Because I always thought that our parents would know each other with having similar names, but they didn't so I don't know what the excuses is but yours is for the hair mine is because my family's a bit crazy <laughs> so this new series is going to be called creatives chitter chatter because I want to take it away from being so serious about covid and I want to make it fun bubbly and just get to know creative people instead of going how are you coping through covid now I'll be like okay covid's over What's life bringing you now and what has it brought you? So, I brought Flame on because I just think you're wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm at the tattoo parlour, always. It's so funky, so energetic, and I just think your story needs to be told. So, less of me, more of you. Take it well, away. Well, um, my name's Flame, obviously, like Fire said. Um, I'm the owner of Lady Rouge Tattoo Parlour in Wolstanton, Stoke-on-Trent. Um, I started tattooing when I was 17, but I uh, started learning how to tattoo when I was 15 um, because my stepdad um, did a bit of tattooing in the 80s and then sort of saw my interest in it and decided it was a good idea to teach me. Um, yeah, so, yeah. That's, I, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. So... so 17 is when you actually is that when you had your tattoo parlor yeah so i started learning at 15 alongside school um and then when i hit 17 is when i applied for my license and i was working in another shop in stoke for a few years just to build up like um shop experience um and it was 19 when we got my tattoo parlor which i own now so it's just over a year we opened last june we opened That's but We've been shut since March now because of COVID. I know. Oh, tell me about it. I had so many tattoos booked in. And I was like, yeah. no. Oh, it's, it's horrible. I, weren't you, I'm sure I saw a, a newspaper article of you being in it. Were you in it about your parlour? I'm sure you were. Yeah, there was um, a newspaper article just after we opened, um, basically saying that the new tattoo parlour opened because Kat Von D sent a message um, saying happy birthday to me and that she thought it was really cool <laughs> and um that was in the newspaper article like, that's why they they put it on but yeah it was really it was really cool oh my god Kat Von D got in touch with you are you friends <laughs> I wish no I wish it was just <laughs> relative to America that's how we got in contact god that's amazing you never know you might get a guest at some point yes that would be really cool that would be amazing, but I don't think any other girl can generally go, yeah, Kat Van D just got in touch with me and wished me happy birthday. That's yeah. like every fun girl's dream. <laughs> God, so how did you know that you wanted to go into tattooing? Like, I know you were 15, but what, before, was it your stepdad or did you just automatically know this is what I want to do? Um, well, since a really young age, I've always been artsy. Um, I've always loved drawing and a lot of my family members are arty, so I think it's, it's in the genes um and I was about 10 when I decided like tattooing was what I really wanted to do because I am um, obviously my mum's quite alternative so I grew up with like that scene and seeing people with tattoos and seeing people that like that sort of thing so um I decided yeah that's that's what I want to do and then um that's when Andy saw that in me and decided to teach me oh, 10 wow well, <laughs> that's I decided um but he started teaching me at 15 I don't know, I meant like 10 even deciding that that's going to be yeah. a Because when you're 10, you, I didn't even know what tattoos were. I mean, I only, I'm sure I only started living when I was 19. Like before that, I, I'm sure I was in like some sort of cocoon of not knowing anything. Now I'm covered, that, as you know. But, um, so, did you get GCSE and stuff like that? I'm guessing that you did. Yeah, I got, um, did my GCSEs, um, just regular normal GCSEs like science, maths, all that. Um, and then I did art, textiles and uh, computer science for like my options. And then I went to college and did textiles, graphics and art. Um, but obviously I'd started learning tattooing by then. So when I turned 17, it was two days after my 17th birthday, I got my tattooing license. 
Um, I was at college at the time, but there was no point in me staying on to to finish college because I could have been working. So I left college to start tattooing. Yeah, it seemed like a waste of time. Like to be honest, you were probably were you just there as sort of like not a tick box, but a backup plan. Yeah, and this happened and. Wow. and then, yeah. God, that's crazy. What was it like with your stepdad teaching you? Only because I know that sometimes with parents working with each other, it can be. We well, I know you work with him now because Andy's in. Yeah. Your... Yeah. Um, so how is it? Because like I've worked with my mum and it, it was fine, but people always say that you should never work with your family. I mean, I think that's a load of bull. But no, so then I'm like, but, um, what? What? How would you say it's like working and learning from him? Um, he's a really good teacher and he's really patient. So um, he doesn't expect you to like. I've told you once and you should know it. Um, he he's really patient. He goes over things. Um, he is a really good teacher. Um, and I found working with him to be fine because we're quite a close family. So it's just been like normal, really um and then obviously he's gone on to teach nat now who works at the shop as well um and like, she said how good of a teacher he is that he, he is really patient and he's good i know i love it when um when like he'll be get you two alive and just go over like oh can i have a bit of advice and he's just so open i think that's amazing i mean i am the biggest fan of your family as you know <laughs> always always they're like where's Andy where's your mom where's this oh I love them because your mum has got her own jewelry I feel like I'm probably big enough your family here it's brilliant <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's such a really Lady Rouge is so good because it's like you've got not just tattoos you've got your mum making all of her jewelry and doing her clothes because she t puts them um, secondhand clothes and sells them and jazzes them up doesn't she yeah yeah she's like a denim jackets with all bits on and stuff like that and then Natty does her stuff, and I think it's amazing. And this is what I wanted to go into, which I think is brilliant. I feel like it's just thinking of this through COVID is amazing because it must be hard. Actually, no, rewind. How did you find COVID? I know we're sort of coming out of it, and you're one day going to open when yeah. Boris left. Um, it's been difficult because I've obviously I've never had this long off tattooing. I've always been tattooing, so to to be forced to stop it's like what do you do now sort of thing um it, it was really strange um I'm sort of just getting used to the waiting now but definitely at first that I, I, I felt like a lost part I was like what am I supposed to be doing now um and then obviously it's hard because that's your your sole income so you're thinking oh god like what's gonna happen like when are we gonna open and all that and then obviously all of my clients want to know when we're going to open and um I think tattoo parlors aren't really on the top list of priority of letting people know when they can open. So, yeah, we've, we've been a bit low down on the priority list at the minute. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, it's a bit annoying. I follow a lot of tattoo artists and every single one is like, what? This is crazy. I do think it's crazy, but I can understand the say I, I don't know. I can understand why, but it, it's annoying, obviously, for all the tattoo parlors that are out there that we want to open. So, what did you do in that time then? Um, well, this so, obviously, I've done um, just designing in the free time, getting some designs done, drawing that I can do, um, drawing flash sheets of different designs, and then I made um, a flash sheet to make temporary tattoos out of. Um, I've done two sets, like a space theme one and like a beach theme one, because I thought we can't really enjoy the summer at the minute, so you might as well have a little beach tattoo to go, <laughs> go along with it. Um, so I'm selling those. Um, I've also done a commission piece recently um, of a space pinup, and I'm also working on a few other commission pieces. Um, I've got a raffle going on at the minute um, that's got a full day, a palm size tattoo, and temporary tattoo prizes. Yes. Um, so yeah. that's soon. And um, just spending my free time, like. Um, painting the mural in the back of the shop because you know we got, got that big jungle mural oh yes yeah it, I was just it's, to visit, it's so so funky <laughs> so that's what I've been um pretty much spending my time doing you've been busy I've been quite busy yeah but I've uh trying to enjoy the time off as well because I know I'll never get this time off again <laughs> I was just going to say that like my flatmate he was furloughed and, and unfortunately made redundant and now he's got a job and he was like for the next two weeks fire you. you're not going to see me i'm going to be gaming doing the stuff that i will not be allowed to do because like i said and you do work because you work six days a week don't you 
five days. Five well, days. Uh, and the hours are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> With all the drawing we have to do, it's it it's quite a strenuous job. Yeah, that's because it's non-stop, mainly when you own it yourself. Every time I've come in, it's like even on your break, you'll be drawing up something, checking something, and it's it's brilliant. But so yeah, it's been I think I think it's been a good time, not a bad time. But the the idea of the um, temporary tattoos is brilliant because I think when festivals come back out again, people yeah. have always wanted tattoos, but have been a bit like, oh, I, I, I can't because of my job, or I'm too scared, or I haven't got the money. Boom! Yeah, yeah. So, ones. God, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> What's your style? I know your style, but the people I'm listening probably don't. So explain it. Um, I I really enjoy doing a lot of neo traditional stuff, which is um sort of a mixture of old school but with a new school. Well, not new school, but newer twist. Um, so it has a lot of bold outlines. Um, and I like doing like lady faces and stuff like that. Really pretty stuff. Um, and I also really enjoy tattooing animals, like any form of animal pets. Um, wildlife, anything like that, I really enjoy. Um, but I do like a mixture of anything. Um, I enjoy black and grey as well. And I think the mixture helps. Um, so if you're doing the same thing all the time, it can get a bit boring. But because in my job, you'll get somebody who's having um, something really bright and really girly, and then maybe something that's like black and grey and a bit darker the next day. So it is, um, it is a lot different day to day. So um, anything really, I do, I do enjoy anything. <laughs> That's good. That means you're a mixed sort of girl, but um, I, I love your style. Um, the last time I came in, someone was having on their thigh a huge one. God, they must have had some guts. I think some of mine are big, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> but, um, so she was having a new design. It was like a witchy lady with her pet pug. Ah, yes, Geordie, yes. Um, so we did like a witch, um, and then the pug is her pug, because she has a pet pug, um, with a little bat costume on it. So it's yes. like that um she she does a load she has um a lot of the pin-up ladies as well um yeah she's really really good client geordie is no it was really when i saw it and when you were making it and just there's loads of stuff and I'm, i just think it's incredible um so when they open again what's your sort of like plans for the future to do with covid it, to do with tattooing so once it's done once covid pretend covid's all over and what's yeah. your you got any future goals or um, I suppose just focus on the shop and get it um, as busy and popular as we can do, really. Um, and then we have got that middle room in, in between where the kitchen and the tattoo bit is. Um, eventually, we we'll want to convert that into another area where we can tattoo to possibly have different artists in there as well. Um, having people doing guest spots um, and then more permanent people. So just expand, really. Um, yeah, That's definitely. Excited! Oh my god! The minute you were like, we're getting more, and I'm like, oh, more faces! I just can't wait for it to open. That's just going to be brilliant. Guest spots. Do you know what I think you should do? Um, because me and you both went to the tattoo convention in Birmingham. No, I forgot where I was. Um, Manchester. Yeah, the tea party one. Brilliant yeah. event. Amazing. Yeah. Everyone should go with this. But why are you not there? Uh, well. I was going to do Blackpool Tattoo Convention this year in August, but it's been cancelled because of COVID. <laughs> that was going to be my first convention. Oh, I was literally going to say, why are you not there? I saw some people there and I was like, your style would fit in and it's different. And I just thought, why, why is Lady Rouge not here? But now <laughs> it makes sense that you were going to, but yeah. the bloody COVID got in the way as per yeah but i do love conventions so it's definitely on the on the bucket list to do one myself right would you go with a whole lady rouge like natty and maybe the other person that you have or would you just focus on yourself so then you just you know that you're because it must be quite hard looking after a whole team as well yeah i think um we've discussed it um i think nat wants to get a few more years experience before she does a convention herself um but she still wants to come along with me so it'll be like me there but but uh, Nat and Andy will be there to support me at the same time. So the shop will be there, but I'll be the, the tattooist there. <laughs> I think that works though, because when I went around, a lot of people had talkers, because while you're tattooing... You need someone to talk to. Oh, you. So you can give... Oh, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel like you're grippy at the side, like, <laughs> it's so good. But I think that's brilliant. God, that's so exciting. Well, I, I, didn't, I can't remember anything else I was going to ask you, but... 
I just want it to open, really. Do you, is there any, have you got any sneaky feelings of when, when tattoo parlors can open? Because, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't believe the internet half the things I read. Yeah. Um, they've not given it any dates away, but I remember months ago when COVID initially started and we all went into lockdown, some something was said about the 10th of August, and I feel like because that was said back then, and they've said we can't on the 4th, it might be then. Because I don't know when when the next update is, but it'll either I'm I'm assuming it'll either be late July, early August, because that'll be when the next um next wave of openings will be. I hope so. Anyway, I hope so. And I feel like we need a little bit of self promotion here. So where can we find you? How can we get in touch with you? Blah blah. blah. Go. Um, so my Instagram handle is flame underscore tattoo baby underscore right. Um, so flame spell F L A Y M E underscore tattoo baby T A double T double O B A B Y and then underscore right W R I G H T. And then also you can find us on Instagram under Lady Rouge Tattoo Parlor. Um, and then you can see all the photos of obviously my work, Nat work, Nat's work, and Andy's work as well. Um, to get in contact with us all um, so yeah either of those two places are a good place to get in contact with us um, if you have any queries or want to make any bookings or just any questions at all just pop them over on there um, I'm telling everyone that you, you guys you need to go and it's it's not just with Lady Rouge um, it's not just a tattoo it's being comfortable do you know what I mean like I've been told like oh you're going to try more people out and I'm like well why would I want to try more people out when <laughs> comfortable where I am it's not like I'm sitting there not talking you talk and you get a brew you get you're surrounded by art and it's just yeah. like, like why would you want to move to somewhere where you might be there like oh, I don't know anyone they're not talking because I mean I've been in that situation it's not comfortable no we're having pain yeah. in here as well <laughs> it's like yeah pain pain and it's like oh but no I just tell everyone and thank you for being my first guest on the yeah. chat on it I'm absolutely sweaty because it's really hot <laughs> today, isn't it? Spoiling. And Spoiling. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, and until next time, and until I can give you an actual hug, yes. in virtual, and without being two meters away, because that's even more sad, is when people are like, don't come near me. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. God. It's so hard. But thank you so much. And I will speak to you very soon. Yes, yeah, see you later. Thank you. Bye.